Welcome to this podcast, Dynamic Parent and Teacher Training with Educational Psychologist Alec Delancey. This podcast is dedicated to promoting positive performance in children through simple behavior modification. Hi, good day guys. How are you all doing today? I hope that you're doing well. Today I'm, I'm good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, it's early morning where I'm at and I'm hearing some birds outside. They're really singing up a nice little tune. Uh, the sun, it's shining, it's really bright outside. So I think today is going to be a good day. If rain is to fall, it wouldn't be now. It will be probably later or after lunch or something like that. All right, so um, today we want to talk about children need reasons and directions to engage task. Children need reasons and directions to engage task. Now, I probably could illustrate it this way. I am new to this part of tongue and I'm really happy because newness brings happiness at least sometimes. I'm feeling to eat cake so I'm new to this part of tongue and I'm feeling to eat cake and I'm happy. I mean what best or other reasons could I have for feeling happy right? Now I could also bake a cake because I'm good I'm good I'm a, I'm a good baker I could bake a cake but the thing is I have no butter. I have no butter in the refrigerator So I head out to the grocery, but remember, I don't know this place. I'm new. So soon, I'm looking, checking, I can't find that grocery. And then, a hunt for butter can get me lost. So here I am, lost in this big city, looking for butter. Soon, the happiness that I once felt turns into fear. So I'm no longer happy. I'm fearful. I'm not even thinking about cake anymore because I'm lost in this big city. Now, to parents, guardians, teachers, sometimes our children, they can feel the same way. They can feel lost. At the onset, it was really a nice time they had. They entered into our classroom or they got, they got up this morning or they got up this week. And there's so much expectation and excitement they have for what they can possibly achieve. But then we ask them to do a task. Maybe it's a homework task. Maybe it's a task to do in terms of cleaning their room, something at home, some kind of chore. And they don't perform the way that we expect them to. And we ask the question, why? Well, if we understand that children need reasons and direction to engage tasks, we will move away from the old way of thinking that you do as I say, You do as I tell you, you don't ask questions. Imagine for a while then that I told you it's the end of the week or the end of the month and I say to you, you see all the money that was sent to the bank, to your bank account, I don't want you to collect your salary this month. Now, unless you're extremely rich, you're going to ask me why and for good reason. You want to know, am I saying to you the bank is going to be closed? This period of time, I tell you, don't go to the bank. You want to figure out what, what maybe there's something that is happening in the vicinity where the bank is. And therefore, that's the reason why I'm telling you don't go. You want to know why and you're inquisitive and you should be. After all, you worked hard and you expect to get paid. But now I'm telling you, do not go to the bank and collect your money. So your curiosity it is very similar to the curiosity of a young child. But even much more so the curiosity of a young child because you may have experience because of the various activities you will have engaged in before and therefore your experience will help you to sort of curtail your curiosity in some areas. But a child who never had a specific experience is not able to draw on that information and therefore expects to know why and also expects direction because if they have not done a particular task before, they will not necessarily know how to do it. So the question is, how can we actually give children reasons and directions so that they can accomplish tasks as teachers, as guardians, as parents? Well, there are at least three areas or three points or three tips that i like to give to you. The first one has to do with offer a rational for completing the assignment or task or whatever you give them to do. So you offer a rational. Why is this necessary? This is necessary because it will, and you give them the reason why. If you don't accomplish this task, 
then such and such can happen. So you see, when you give persons a, a reason or a rational for completing a task, you put them in a position to now understand why this particular task is important. So why is completing chores important? Because it keeps the place clean, it keeps it tidy, and so forth. Another tip has to do with define, in the case of a teacher, classroom and homework goals. And define it clearly as possible. If you're a parent, you can also define classroom and homework goals. Help your child to realize why it's important to go to school and do not break class. Why it's important to pay attention. Why it's important when you come home to do your homework. Because you want them to appreciate that there's a reason again as to why they're doing something. So you're defining a homework goal. This homework, if completed, it will assist you to understand the concepts more fully. If you keep your bedroom tidy, you keep your bed made up, you tuck your shoes, you, you, tuck, you place your shoes under the bed where you will not trip on it, then it presents the room in an acceptable way. Another rationale has to do with provide clear, concrete, step-by-step -step directions for all assignments. Again, we want children to appreciate why it is important to complete assignment. But if they have not engaged a particular assignment before, they will not know how to do it. And therefore, it is very, very important that we give step-by-step -step direction. So we want them to clean up their rooms. We don't say to them, go and clean your room, please. No, that sounds fair enough. Go clean your room, please. But what area or aspect of the room you want them to clean? Because again, they may not know how to approach cleaning their room. Their view or understanding of cleaning their rooms might simply be, you go into the room, you tuck all your toys under the bed, you clear everything that is on top of the bed, and you shove it in the cupboards. That may be their view of what cleaning is all about. But will that be appropriate cleaning? The answer is no. So these three areas of offer rational for completing the assignment uh, define their goals clearly as to why or the reason why a child should complete a particular task, the value, the benefit, or the objective of it. And lastly, provide clear step-by-step -step directions for all assignments. If you do that, the child will be more motivated, more inspired to accomplish a specific assignment or task, having true meaning as to why it is important and why they should complete it. So I hope that this content was valuable to you and feel free to leave a comment as to how you benefited from it. So all the best and take care. Music in this podcast, Zigzag and Exit the Premises, was brought to you by Kevin McLeod of Incomputech.com.